I graduated from high school in, in uh, 1943, and I was drafted shortly after. So I got a lot of training, first in the infantry in this country, and then in a medical unit, and was sent to Europe. Well, it was very easy. If you got drafted, you ended up in the Army, and if you volunteered, you got in the Navy. So I volunteered and went in the Navy. I was an aviation metalsmith in the Navy, so I got specialized in uh, the fuel cells on aircraft, the plastic windshield, all the plastic on planes, the repair of aircraft, the right. aluminum repair, that type of thing. Yeah. My, my experience over there was with me. In what it was called in those days an evacuation hospital, but later became MASH, which many people remember from television. That MASH program was an exact copy of the way my outfit was. Where I was, I was at a squadron, and I was based out of Hawaii. So I flew out of Kenioi Bay, and so I, my life there was fairly easy. I mean, you know, we weren't on in the middle of the hot zone, of the hot zone yes, and uh, like Iwo Jima and Guadalcanal and all. Sir, when the war ended in, in Europe, my medical unit was sent to do what they could medically for the people that were in one of the concentration camps. And that was our most serious and difficult assignment, because so many of those folks were, were beyond repair, so to speak, both mentally and physically. Some we could help a lot, but others were, were doomed to a, a very poor, if, if not very long-lasting life. Well, I can remember when I, after the war was over, I signed over for a couple of years to stay in the Navy. And uh, I decided I wanted to go to China. I really wanted to go to China. They, they sent me to Naval Air Station Norfolk. And I put in for these transfers to China, and they would transfer me from one side of the base to the other. <laughs> Never went to China. 